Hi everybody, Ben here from Pax Power Trucks in Houston, Texas with two awesome jackals that we've recently put out of our shop. And we want to do something a little bit different with this video today. We've been making these jackals since 2019, but over the past year, this product has blown up for us. We have built these for customers all over the country and all over the world. And we've taken a lot of phone calls from guys like you. And we want to address the main questions that we get on those phone calls. And those questions are, how much do these cost? What are my options for buying one of these? And what are my options for the build? How do I get one? And we're going to go through that today and address all those different things. And there's another thing that I keep hearing from customers over and over again, especially lately, and that is, I'm going to wait a little bit and buy a Jackal in the summer or in the fall. And we try to not be pushy with our sales, but we're here in this video to say we've been doing this for a while and this is the best time to buy a Silverado to build a Jackal in the past five years. And so we're going to talk about why we think that is, the options on the truck, and if you stick around long enough in this video, we're going to do something we hardly ever do, and that is we're going to talk about how much these trucks behind me cost. The first thing I want to address with these trucks is what are they and why might you choose one over the other? On this side, we have a 2024 Silverado ZR2 with the 6.2 liter. You might choose this truck if you wanted a more OEM style build because we're able to use a lot of the cosmetic and uh, appearance features of the ZR2 and incorporate them into our Jackal. Also, maybe you like the Multimatic shocks or the interior that comes on a ZR2 because it is quite a sporty interior. Over on this side, we have a 2024 LTZ trim with the 6.2 liter. And you might choose this one if technology is important to you. This thing does have a little bit more tech, things like the camera in the rear view mirror. You'll find more LTZs with sunroofs and uh, sometimes little nicer things on the interior. Some of the self-driving things will appear in LTZs. So you might go with that if technology is important to you. The other reason you might go with an LTZ is customization. Because we're not reusing things like the Multimatic shocks and some of the visual elements, a truck like this is a much better base if you want to make it your own because we're starting with a blank slate Silverado in our opinion. So taking a lot of those boring Silverado parts off and putting on cool aftermarket parts like are featured on this build might be a good route in why you would choose this one over the other. If you call us here at Pax Power, a lot of times you're going to get me on the phone. And if you're interested in a Jackal and you don't already have a truck, I refer most people to the ZR2 as a base. And that's for a few different reasons. The main one though is that it comes a lot closer to Jackal spec than a regular Silverado. It includes a lot of cool parts and visual elements that make it into a really awesome Jackal in our opinion. So as you look at this ZR2, the first thing that always stands out to me on a ZR2 is the front end. This hood, this grill that's reminiscent of the ZL1 Camaro, this front bumper that is very trimmed up and shows a lot of the suspension and features a skid plate and just really gives it an off-road look reminiscent of maybe what comes on the Raptor. And so because this truck has a lot of those elements, we don't have to change a lot. We fit our body kit, which is four inches wider per corner. That's on both of the trucks. And then we have our proprietary front pieces here that tie our body system into the bumper and make everything look like it came from the factory. The same is true of the suspension on the ZR2 model. Because it comes with Multimatic shocks that is a really high-end shock from the factory, we can utilize that. And as we'll talk about later, that gives us a lower price point on these Jackal ZR2s that we build. Additionally, the long travel leaf springs that come in the rear can be utilized in your ZR2 build and lower the price point. But outside of that, the Jackal elements are the same between the two trucks. On this, you will also see the long travel kit that gives us about 12 inches of suspension travel front and rear and is just an awesome looking kit. Gives an awesome stance, awesome performance. We've recently transferred our manufacturer on these and are now using Missoula Arms. We think they're incredible. They have a billet upper and a fabricated boxed lower. We really like the stuff from those guys, but if you want to use something different, Baja kits, Dirt King, we're totally up to that because one thing about either one of these Jackals is they can be totally customized to your spec. 
Now we're over here with our Silverado Jackal that started as an LTZ model. And like I said a minute ago, you might want to go this route if you want more of a custom and personalized truck that looks like nobody else's. And as you start to look at this truck, you see why we might have that opinion. Over here, we've taken the LTZ grill and we've made that satin black to match this really cool piece below, the addictive desert design bumper and rigid lights that really gives this thing a unique look and unlike anything else out there on the road. And then you may be able to see from this shot the aftermarket suspension components that we use on this. Instead of reusing the Multimatic shocks, instead we're using 2.5 or 3.0 coilovers from some of the best companies in the world. This one's featuring coilovers from Fox, but we can also use Icon or King racing shocks in your build as well. And then as we look over this a little bit more, you'll notice more aftermarket elements. Instead of the fixed side steps that come on the ZR2, we have power steps on this one. And instead of the stock ZR2 leaf springs that come in the rear, we're using Deaver leaf springs for a little better performance and ride. And so you can see that if you want to really make something your own, maybe you these uh, aftermarket shocks are important to you, maybe some custom elements like bumper are important to you, then let's start with an LTZ or some other standard Silverado Trail Boss RST and we'll take that base truck and make it exactly what you want. Next I want to talk a bit about drivetrain options and performance options on these trucks. Both of these here with us today have this 6.2 liter and we've upgraded them with a 3.0 liter Whipple supercharger. That supercharger system takes the 6.2 liter horsepower from 420 to 650. And similarly, torque goes from 460 to 650. However, you don't have to go all in like this and do the 6.2 with the supercharger. There's several uh, Jackal customers that come and they do a Trail Boss with a 5.3 liter. And a question we've been getting a lot is, can we work with the new diesel Duramax engine? Heck yeah, we'd love to make a ZR2 Jackal Duramax. Sounds like a really cool truck, so call us if that's what you're looking for. I want to conclude this video with a few things I promised in the beginning. One, why is it a good time to buy trucks right now? How do you get one of these? And finally, the one I know you're all wondering about, how much do these things cost? Well, first off, why is it a good time to buy a truck? Well, there are Chevy dealers up to their eyeballs in 2023 and 2024 Silverados. They are discounting these more than we have seen in the last five years. There's six, eight, 10 K discounts on trucks out there. Further, Chevy's trying to help these dealers move these trucks. And how are they doing that? Promotional interest rates. We're seeing 0.9% interest being offered by Chevy right now. I don't know how long that's gonna stick around, but we should definitely take advantage of that and move some trucks together. Further, like we talk about in a lot of our videos, we can include our upgrade in your truck purchase and take advantage of that promotional interest. So how about getting one of these trucks behind me with 0.9% interest right now? That's awesome and I hope some of you hear that and let's build some trucks together. Second, how do you get one of these? Well, give us a call. That's always the first step. And we'll get to know you, we'll find out what you're looking for, and we'll figure out what spec truck works best for you. We can also go to dealers around us. We're in Houston, Texas, truck capital of the world. There's inventory everywhere. So we'll find you a nice discounted truck. We'll approach that dealer. We'll help you uh, set up the deal, set up the financing if you want to do that. We're all about making it as concierge as possible. And so we will love to hear from you and help you on that. And finally, how much do these trucks cost? Something that we don't often put in videos for obvious reasons, prices change from vendors, things are always getting more expensive, but because of the timing and because of the truck market right now, we want to pull back the curtain a little bit and let you know how much these things cost. Before I walked out here, we looked up one of each of these model trucks. Granted, we don't control the dealer prices, we don't control the options that you choose, but these are base prices. These are trucks that are on lots. We know you could buy them if you were interested. So when it comes to the ZR2, we have a starting price of an MSRP 7578, but dealers are discounting these almost $10,000. Before we came out here, we found one in this color for $67,000. Our package to take a ZR2 and turn it into a Jackal 
is roughly $23,000, which puts you at a price point of $90,000, which we think is extremely competitive because the truck we're competing against are things like the TRX, 120, things like the V6 Raptor, $92,000. Well, this is a lot more unique, a lot more custom, and it hits the same price point. What do you get for that 90? You're gonna get the suspension, wheels and tires, the body, the exhaust, a finished truck. It doesn't include the supercharger, and the supercharger runs about 15 more. So if you were to buy a non-supercharged version, you're looking at 90. If you would to have a supercharged ZR2 Jackal, price point's gonna be more about 105. Now when we come over to the LTZ, the good news is, is though even though this truck starts with more tech, it has a lower price point from the dealer. So we looked up one of these before we came out of here and found one at $63,000. Uh, that corresponds pretty nicely with our package price with those. Our package price for something like this is around 27. And the difference between the 23 and the 27 comes mainly from the suspension. On this truck, you're gonna get the Fox, the Icon, the King 2.5 inch coilovers. And we have to buy leaf springs from the back since it doesn't come with long travel ones like the ZR2. The main addition on this truck is the ADD bumpers and rigid lights. We will say those are pretty expensive from the manufacturer, but they look awesome. So let's do the math on this truck. Uh, you start with a $63,000 truck, $27,000 package, puts you at an LTZ Jackal, same $90,000. You add the bumpers into this, you end up more like $96,000. And if you were to add the supercharger, same 15, you're just a little over $110,000. We think all these numbers are incredibly competitive. If you think about what these trucks are, what these trucks compete with, TRXs that now cost over $125,000, Raptor Rs that go for 160 to 200, we think we've got something really cool. We think you should have one, and we'd love to hear from you.